Let's take a look at some basic commands you might use as you create a drawing. We'll begin by looking at layers. Layers allow you to organize the objects in your drawing. You can group similar objects so you can easily turn them off or on for displaying or printing. And you can lock layers to prevent unwanted changes. I'll open the Layer Properties Manager. This is where you create and manage your layers. I'm going to add a new layer called Objects to this drawing. I double-click to make it the current layer so that the objects I draw are added to it automatically. I'll start drawing using the Line command. Typically, when you start a command, you'll be prompted to input a value or specify an option. The input expected is displayed as a prompt in the command line and as a tooltip near the cursor if dynamic input is turned on. I'll turn dynamic input off for now. To indicate the first point of my line, I click in the drawing area. Now I'm prompted for the next point. I drag the cursor and click again. The line command continues to prompt for additional points until I end the command. To end, I can press Escape, Enter or the spacebar, or I can right-click and choose Enter from the menu. To control drawing precision, I can choose from a variety of drafting aids. For example, the Ortho Mode button constrains me to vertical and horizontal lines as I draw. I'll turn Ortho off again. Object Snaps, also known as O-Snaps, allow me to easily place new objects in relation to existing objects. I'll use the Endpoint Object Snap to connect a new line to the endpoint of the existing line I've drawn. The Auto Snap marker makes it easy to know which object snap is being used. As you work on a design, you'll likely need to modify some objects. Before you can modify an object, you have to select it. To select an object, position your cursor over the object and click. Click additional objects to add them to the current selection. I can remove objects in the current selection by holding the Shift key while I click the objects. I'll press Escape to clear the selection completely. Instead of selecting objects individually, I can select multiple objects at once with a selection window. I'll drag the cursor from left to right to select objects that are completely enclosed in the window. I'll drag from right to left to create a crossing selection, which selects all objects crossed by or enclosed in the window. Now let's look at some modify commands. I can use the erase command to remove objects from my drawing. I select the object I want to remove and then either click the Erase tool or press Delete. If I make a mistake, I can choose Undo from the Quick Access Toolbar or from the Command Shortcut menu. Let's say I want to copy these windows. First, I zoom in. I can use the Zoom command or I can position my cursor and rotate the wheel on my mouse forward. I can pan the drawing view by pressing the mouse wheel down and dragging. From the Home tab, I'll select Copy and use a crossing window to select the objects I want to copy. I'll use an Intersect Object Snap to copy the windows from one location to another. Finally, I'll double-click the mouse wheel to fit my design in the current window.